So this is my green terror. I got him about 9 months ago and when I got him I was wondering what to expect growth wise. So I was scouring the internet and I got very conflicting answers. Some said very slow, expect a couple of years, while others said pretty fast until they reach a certain point. Today my green tail reached a milestone growth wise, so I figured I would share with you the progress it took for him to get to this point. So let's get on with it. So here you'll see him in quarantine at about 5 centimeters or 2 inch. He grew about a centimeter or half an inch during quarantine and two weeks later I added him to the main tank and uh, from here on he really started going. Look at those eyes man. Three weeks later he had sexually matured and he now has his adult coloration as you can see and uh, he looks like a fine specimen. And what do you know he found a female. Unfortunately not another green terror, but instead a blue Akera I had in the tank at the time. I really didn't want hybrids, so I proceeded to give the female away. But not before I measured her to be around 13.5 cm, which is about 5, 5.5 inches. And then I let this guy cool off for a few days in the quarantine tank. Six weeks later, I estimate he had almost double his weight, and while he only gained about an inch in length, as you can see he gained a lot of girth and width. And another month, another inch. I found this clip pretty interesting because he looks less compact than in the last clip. But it makes sense, in my experience some fish go through phases where they focus on gaining mass and gaining length. This was just a month of gaining length, but of course it's always a balance between the two. Almost a month later and he has not gained an inch for the first time, but instead you can see he has more adult features, a more aggressive sloped forehead as well as more deep body shape. He's gaining weight but not as much length. And as you can see there, he got chased away by a Jack Dempsey. He was so curious about the Dempsey's territory that I sometimes think he did it just to be annoying. And it was a really fun interaction to watch. Roughly two months later, and the battle of territories continues. This time with a dominant male from a Guinacara species. At this point he's the largest fish I have in the tank, and I wouldn't call him a gentle giant. But I absolutely wouldn't call him a terror either. As usual, the truth lies somewhere in between. And that brings us to today, where I measure him to be 20 centimeters or 8 inch. Now, is that fast or slow? From my understanding, this has been pretty normal. You should expect 2.5 centimeters a month until they reach 15 centimeters, or an inch, uh, an inch until they reach 6 inches. After that, they slow down. In my case, it was 1.5 centimeters to 2 centimeters a month until he reached 20 centimeters or in inches, half an inch to a quarter of an inch a month until he reached 8 inches. Now from here on it probably will take at least a year until he reached the magical 25 centimeters or 10 inch. But he's easily one of my favorite fish I've ever kept, so naturally I want him to reach his fullest potential. So maybe a few of you watching are wondering about my maintenance or feeding schedule. So let's start with feeding. I actually use an automatic feeder. And the reason is not actually what you might expect. The reason is because I don't want the fish to respond to me as a food source. I want them to continue their lives when I sit down and watch them. But one advantage I have with my feeder is that I can set six times a day where I feed. And that I've created a sort of security in the fish. They always know that there's a constant supply of food. And that has the advantage, in my experience, that the fish are less aggressive, not only during feeding, but in general as well. Not by a huge margin. Cichlids are cichlids, but by some margin. As for water changes, I do them twice a week at 50% each. 
I have a few other aquarium videos in mind. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving me a like or subscribe, and that might just encourage me enough to make them. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment, but in any case, thanks for watching. <music>